Hopefully you can kind of see that. We try and get a proper close up. Oh, great, everything got wrong. Hello and welcome back to March Payne's Midlife Dolly Hair Crisis. And in today's episode, I am going to be unboxing something which I got last year. I think it was around sort of October, November time. And it is this. So this is a, a Barbie play set, which essentially you get a sewing machine and you get, I think you get a few fashion pieces. There's actually a picture of what you get on the side there. So yeah, you get like, uh, like a mannequin, a desk, a sewing machine, you get a doll with it. You do get a few kind of bits and bobs um, to kind of go with her. There's also this, which if anyone remembers, it's that heart-shaped bag that we all loved so much, the one that I was obsessed with and which still haunts my nightmares. But yeah, I think there's another version of that in here, so that would be great. So um, a huge thank you to Kim, formerly of Mrs. World, who actually sent this to me. I think I probably mentioned to her at one point that I was hoping to be sewing for my dolls and I have actually recently managed to unearth my sewing machine from all the clutter of, of my room. So hopefully I will, you know, be, be doing something at some point. I'm not saying it's going to be that soon, but um, I've certainly got a lot of fabric, which I've been buying as I've seen it. So hopefully there will be some, some sewing going on. But this was kind of like, it's a bit like manifestation. You know, if I open this, it might inspire me and, you know, it might compel me to, to actually, actually do it. So, yeah, I am kind of excited to open this and see what it's like. Hi. So, here we are. So, the actual title for this on Amazon is The Barbie Fashion Designer Playset. So if you're looking for it, if you basically put that in, it will hopefully come up with this. So as I mentioned, you get a doll and you get loads of other stuff. The box is actually quite nice, the way that they've done it. Um, I guess, you know, if you were a child, you could probably color, color this all in and everything. So that is the front of the box. The side of the box here basically shows you what you get in it. There's quite a bit of stuff in there. It's, it looked like a really nice set. There's extra clothes and stuff like that in it as well as kind of like a mannequin and a sewing machine and things like that. So, you know, you do get you do get some nice things in there and it's always nice to have more accessories for for Barbie, especially with for like photographs and things like that. I'm hoping that there's no kind of like tags and stuff in this just because of the way that it's already been boxed. So I'm presuming that this is like fully recyclable. But let's, let's open it and see. I'm also hoping it's gonna be quite simple to open as well. Ah, okay, there we go. So that was quite easy. So you basically just open the box and everything is in there. So we have the doll here who is in plastic. Um, the stuff here let me get all this out and then we'll we'll have a closer look at everything okay so i've got the doll to one side for now i thought we'd have a look at the bits that aren't sort of wrapped in plastic so we have got the the mannequin here or the, or the stockman or whatever whatever you're calling it wherever you are so it's basically just kind of the dress form i suppose that you know um so you can use this to hopefully try and design clothes for for the Barbie who, who you get with this. It looks really good from the front. From the back, not not so amazing, but um, but yeah, I mean, the, the set as it is, is not expensive. So I guess you kind of get what you pay for in a way, but it's, it's nice enough. I mean, certainly for photographs in the background, it will look great. So there is, that is that. So that is that, I'm gonna put that there. So we've got, we've got this, which is the sewing machine. Obviously it's pink because it is Barbie after all. It's also got the Barbie sort of like symbol, the head, which you're probably not gonna be able to see. Let me, 
There we go. You could probably see it there, actually. So, yeah, but um, apart from, obviously, things sticking out... What do you call that? I don't, I don't know. Apart from the, the moulded stuff, there's no extra details on there, you know, painted or anything like that. It doesn't work. It's not like a mechanical one. I know that with the Rainbow High sewing machine, you can actually turn the wheel and the the needle go up and down. There's there's nothing like that with this. But again, it's a nice prop to have. It might be nicer if some of it was sort of painted, like in you know the details were sort, were sort of painted on, so it doesn't just look like a big a big pink blob. But obviously this this is meant to be for a child to play with. It's not meant to be for, you know, high quality photography or anything like that. So yeah, it's it's nice enough. So that is that is the sewing machine. It is actually quite detailed, apart from the fact obviously, you know, it's all kind of just moulded on. But yeah, so that is the sewing machine. We'll put that there. There's then this. I'm not really sure. I think it's probably for the sewing machine but I'm not 100% sure. The other thing was there was no kind of like instructions or anything with it so presumably you can't really go wrong with actually making this up. Okay so this is this is the desk, the, the work desk, this is the chair. Now I'd be interested to see if this is going to work for our Barbie because obviously she's got no articulation at all so I don't really know how she's going to be sitting on this. But, but there you go, that's kind of what you expect, I suppose. So yeah, so the chair is purple, or the stool, sorry, is, is purple. Um, there's Barbie written on the back. As I say, I'm not really sure what this is. I'm presuming it's to put something on, but I'm not sure what this bit is either, unless it's, is it part of the sewing machine? I, I'm not really sure, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll put that to one side for now. Ah, I think it's my, I, I, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. I've just seen. So, this is the work, the workstation, where everything's going to go. So this bit is where you would put the sewing machine there. So that's good. And then this bit, I think it's going to go into this bit here, like a sort of a shelf. There we go, that clips in. Oh, there's also this. Now, what is... Oh, this is like a clothes hanger thing, is it? And you're meant to, like, attach stuff to that. Yeah, so this is on the back. This is already attached, and you basically slide that bit out. And you could probably... There's hangers in this, so you can probably hang things on. Obviously, the back of it, you know, is not... It's not, it's not like a finished, a finished piece of, of furniture. But that's OK, because you wouldn't take pictures from the back anyway. You would take pictures from the front. There's kind of like a um, like a pin board with um, details kind of printed onto a piece of paper and then that is kind of attached to there. So um, if you have a, a closer look at that, there's kind of images, obviously designs that, that Barbie's been doing and then there's, um, there's like spools of thread and ribbon and there's pots with like pencils and pens and stuff in and fabric swatches and things like that and general kind of tools that you would need if you were you were designing clothes I suppose so that is that there's also a little spot here which I'm guessing you can put some of the accessories in so let's open up this bag which has lots of other things in it and yeah I'll be right back okay so this, these are all the accessories that you get um, with with this pack. And I have to say, I am quite impressed by the, um, the quantity of stuff that you get. Certainly, you know, if you didn't have any extra clothes for your Barbie, this would be great uh, because it doesn't just come with one other set of clothes. You actually get two sets. So you get this dress here, which is quite cute. I mean, obviously, you know, it's up to the standard of the regular Barbie stuff, but all this is actually hemmed, which is good. Um, there's Velcro down the back. It's actually quite a cute dress, I think. Obviously, it's quite bright and colorful, which is really, really cute. So yes, yeah, so you get the dress. You also get this, which I would presume you would maybe wear together. Although she is, I think she is dressed in separate, in separate items. So you could probably mix and match with what she's actually wearing now. So there's a pair of, 
Now I don't really know what these would be. Maybe collots, like red collots. So there's red collots there, and then there's this kind of stripy top here, which I really like. It's kind of like, um, it's quite a sort of a French look there. Um, so yeah, it's a stripy top and it's off the shoulder as well, which is even better. So there's those bits there. I mean, again, you know, it's not like the most amazing quality, but it's actually not that bad because everything is hemmed. So there's no raw edges. It's not like some of the fashionista fashions where they're literally just kind of like cutting it and calling it, you know, there, there you go, that's the dress. They have actually hemmed this stuff, which I suppose, you know, it is meant to be a fashion designer. So they're not going to just leave raw edges, hopefully. Okay, so that is the clothes part. You also get some accessories. So you get two necklaces here. So there's a yellow one um, and a pink one. I will try and show you these, but obviously, if you check out the pictures at the end, I'll try and get a good close up of all this stuff, maybe with her wearing them. So they're quite cute. Obviously they're plastic and they just go around the neck, but that's, that's fine. So that is those. We've then got two pairs of glasses. So one is obviously like a pair of sunglasses and the other one is kind of like a heart shaped pair of glasses, which I'm presuming are also meant to be sunglasses as well. There we go. And the black one might not be as see-through as the blue one, but the blue one you would definitely see the eyes. So that's that's good because that's always that's always better really for these things. They kind of look more realistic that way. So that is those. Um, so we've then got the handbags and obviously we've got our dear old friend, the heart shaped handbag. There we go. So obviously these are literally just bits of plastic and you can't open them or anything like that. There's details on them, but you know, they're not sort of like painted on or anything. They're literally just sort of like printed kind of as, as they come. Um, I mean, that that's fine. You could, if you wanted to, kind of paint them yourselves, you know, it might be interesting. But obviously, if you were a child, that would be fine. You wouldn't, you wouldn't care because you've got three different handbags there for your doll. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, obviously, they're not the biggest handbags, but you can't put anything in them anyway. So there you go. So we've got three different colours, you know, something to match with everything there. So that is the handbags. You've then got four pairs of shoes. And now these four, there's four pairs here and she's also wearing a pair as well. So we've got these nice kind of like chunky heeled ones here. There we go. And she is a flat foot Barbie. So if you do have any other flat feet Barbie ones, Barbie dolls, sorry. If you have any flat foot Barbie dolls, you could use these for them as well. We have a pair of little sort of black, black boots there, there we go. And again, if you check the pictures out at the end, you'll probably see them a whole lot better. There's a nice kind of pair here of sort of like little flat sort of ballet slippers almost. They've got details on them. Again, they're not painted, but you know what, it's kind of fine. And then we've got a pair of sort of golden sandals, which are kind of interesting. There we go. So what else do we have? So then we have kind of accessories that you would use in the fashion studio, I guess. So you get two hangers. So you could hang the clothes that she comes with on those, or you could hang these, which are kind of, I suppose like fabric samples, or, you know, they, I mean, you're not gonna make anything out of them because they aren't that big. But um, you, get, you get three of these. So you get one that's kind of like, um, like a hound's tooth design, one that's like a floral design, and then this one, which is kind of like stars and zigzags. We then get, we then get this, which is like, it's another, I think it's another, meant to be another design that she's done. Um, with three, three ideas on there. 
I don't know what you're meant to do with this. There are some hooks on the back of this. So I guess you could actually just hook that on if you wanted to. I don't really know. Maybe the hole in there is so she can actually carry it, perhaps. There's nothing on the back. Yeah, I don't really want to... Because you have to, um, you have to make the hole a bit bigger to fit on there. Maybe just be nice and on, on the desk, perhaps. So that is that. And then we've got a few other bits. So we have got a pair of scissors here for her to use. So she'd use this when she was obviously cutting the fabric pieces that she was going to make all of the fashions out of. We've then got the, whoops, this, which is one of those sort of pin cushions that you would wear on your wrist. There we go. Obviously no pins because <laughs> they'd be like minuscule. But there you go. So that is that. We've then got these two things, which I am guessing are meant to be spools of thread. And they do have holes at the bottom of them. So I'm kind of guessing that they will fit on the top of this. Yes, yeah, so there you go. That's an example. That's that's the purple one. And then you also get you get like a yellow one as well, which obviously you can do the same thing with. So that's quite good. Also, when not in use, they will go on this thing up here. This sort of like shelf thing. There you go. So that's that's there. And then lastly, you get a plant because you know it's nice to have something something green in your workspace. You can watch it. Watch it focus. <laughs> there we go. Um, and again, that will just fit onto the desk. So there's this whole bit here. And that will just fit into there. So that's quite cute. Like that. So let's go onto the doll. Here she is. So she does come with this, which is a very short tape measure, I would say because they're normally a bit longer than that. I mean, she can kind of wear it around her neck, but yeah, I suppose that's okay. It does kind of work like that. So that is the tape measure. So the doll herself is basically the same articulation as a fashionista doll. You know, she doesn't have joints in her elbow. She doesn't have joints in her legs or anything like that. As I mentioned before, she is flat footed. I would say she's on a standard Barbie body. And I've just noticed, I said she came with separate uh, items of clothing. She doesn't. This is one, this is one outfit. So yeah, that is done with Velcro down the back. There we go. So that's... That's a bit of a disappointment, I guess, but I suppose she does come with extra bits, so it's kind of okay. Um, it's a shame because this, this is actually a really nice skirt, which you could use a lot of. I imagine you can actually probably just put a jacket over that. It might look nice, you know, if you've got other Barbie clothes. And if you haven't, at least you have got these kind of other bits that, that she comes with. Um, so, yeah, she basically has standard articulation. Her head goes kind of on the ball, like that. Her arms go out and then obviously back and forth. Her legs, again, you know, they, they don't do a lot. They kind of just go, go back and forth. They don't, oh yeah, they go out a bit. So, so yeah, they, they, they do go in and out as well. Um, but, you know, she doesn't have anything on the waist or anything like that. Her wrists don't move either, neither do her ankles. I do just want to try something. I don't know if it's going to... I mean, it's not, it's not ideal. Oh. Yeah, she can't really, she can't really sit at her desk properly unless she's going to sit there with, with her legs sticking out the back. And then she's not even sitting up properly. So she'll probably be standing, I would imagine, at her workstation. That might be better for her. There goes the chair. Um, yeah, she might be standing there doing her stuff, which might be, might be easier. Let's have a look at her close up. 
she has she's kind of like a standard a standard barbie i'm presuming this is the millie face um because that all seems to be the one she's got like a bun on the top of her head now i'm noticing something weird on the back of this bun i think you can't remove it because it almost looks like the hair has been melted or something there's like a really weird like burnt bit there which makes me think that you can't undo it. That is very strange. That is quite odd. I mean, I wasn't planning on, on undoing it anyway, but you know, it might be nice if you were a child to be able to undo her hair. It's also got a lot of product in it. So, um, so yeah, that, that's probably something you won't be doing. Her hair, and, uh, hair, sorry, her face is unfortunately a little bit pixelated, which, I suppose we should kind of be used to a bit. I've kind of gotten away with it, mainly, I think, because most of the dolls that I've got have got quite good faces. This one, you can kind of see the pixely kind of eyes and eyebrows, and I think even the lips a little bit, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, so that is, that is her. Um, and yeah, so she comes with this outfit, which is all one, and then she also comes with another pair of shoes, which are these kind of white flats. So that is her, and that is the set. I think the set is actually pretty good. You get like accessories and things like that, which is good. You also get extra clothes and actually sort of clothing accessories. So I think it's quite a fun set, especially, you know, I, I, they aren't overly priced. If you have a look on, on Amazon now, the price will probably be quite different to what it what it was at one point. But, you know, it's not it's not an excessive price. It would be nice for a child to have this as a first Barbie in a way because they get all this extra stuff with her. So, yeah, it's a lot more than you get with, with Fashionistas, for instance. But obviously you are paying a bit more for this. So, what are your thoughts on this? I know that a lot of people who watch this channel are seamstresses themselves you know they they design and create clothes for their dolls so would this be something you'd be interested in i mean you get a lot of like nice stuff to kind of pose with you've got like the tape measure and you get the scissors and obviously you get sewing machine and stuff like that so it is quite an interesting interesting set let me know what you think of this down in the comments below let me know if you've got it let me know if you've notice anything weird about the hair <laughs> that's really odd to me i yeah so actually the hair is actually a mix of blondes there seems to be a darker blonde and lighter blonde in it so at least it's not just here's a flat color for the hair but yeah so please remember to like the video if you've enjoyed it please share the video if you know anyone that would like to see this kind of content and also if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing so yeah, that is it. I think that's it from me and that's it from, from Miss Barbie here who's, who's waving goodbye already. So I will see you in the next video and until then, take care. Bye.